Yo, yo, my game musicians out there, this is Nashus Elbow, Dark Shop for Show, and welcome to what appears to be the finale of Pokemon Resolute. Now, what I've done here is I have set up save states as to where I can find some of the legendary Pokemon, and I may, I may attempt to catch them. Let me see how many balls I have right now on my, what I have on me right now, let's see. Nope, wrong way. Here we are. I have 23 Ultra Balls. I should probably stock up on a lot more. So, yeah, um, I'll just show you guys briefly where you can find some of the legendaries up to over here. But some of them, let me just tell you that, um, some of them that I have kind of, you know, quote, discovered are actually inaccessible due to not having certain TMs like Secret Power and some there are some ways that you probably need to glitch out or the, you know there are some parts that you can't really access until the final version so yeah what I'm gonna be doing right now is I'll be stuck up on balls and I'll lead you to this to um, the first legendary Pokemon so see you guys in a bit okay so we're over here on umber path and yeah I had to go through the whole entire cutscene with Saiviti again which was very long and tedious that's one error that I should probably bring up right at the end of the finale, but anyway, here is this one cave that you can actually enter if you, I think, do certain parts. But yeah, here we have the... This is actually, I do believe it's one of the main areas of Battle Frontier. I can't remember which tent, of course, but... I can definitely tell you that this sounds more Battle Frontier-ish, so let's just go with that. And what am I doing? Let's actually bring out a Mets. Oh, I, I forgot. While well, I was actually finding all these guys, I kept using Mets Repels religiously. And yeah, here we are, guys. Here is, um, I think this is Cobalion, if I do remember correctly. And I don't have paraly I don't have any paralysis or any sleep moves with me, so. Catching these will prove quite a chore, so I'm just gonna try my best, but if I don't manage to catch it in all due time, then, well, at least you guys know where I can find them. And unfortunately, this only- WHY DON'T YOU BRING UP THE LEGENDARY MUSIC? THAT'S BLASPHEMOUS. I'm sorry, but the legendary music is way, way, way more epic than the wild Pokemon battle music, even though I do like this. I do like this track as well, but whatever. Um, yeah, yeah here we are with Cabalian, and um, let's actually see if we can not. Actually, what am I doing? That was actually sort of a disappointment because Cabalian was. <laughs> yeah, I know it's kind of funny, but Cabalian is 52 levels uh, lower than I am, so, well, that's. it sucks to be him, I guess. But anyway, that's where you can find Cabalian. Now, here on Grass Path is where I'm. I'm guessing where you can find, uh. I think it's Trekian. Uh, Trekian or Verizon, which of the two? But you can actually find one of them in this one cave, I do believe, and I think you need. I, you need secret power because I think that is actually sort of a pallet swap of the Gen 3 indent where you can actually create a secret base. So there is no point in catching this one. Now here is where you can find the th what I'm suspecting to be the third of the legendaries in this forest. But ha but the problem is is I have not found a, a trace of it. So I'm guessing if. I'm guessing that you have to either catch it like in the grass like at random you know like with with the three legendary beasts like that or you know I'm just missing something that's out of the ordinary but I swear I've checked I've checked the cloud forest like hundreds of times here and I I really I haven't got diddly squat so I'm this is actually where you can find one of them I think if you Maybe in this version, but maybe, but probably definitely in the most updated version. So there we go. That's where you can find the third of the the three giants. Now on to the next one. This one I knew right off the top because I remember battling, battling this Pokemon way back in the day. And this is actually at the summit of Sky Castle. Remember the black, yeah, the black racist Rayquaza, yeah. 
There! Now we have the epic legendary battle music. Excellent. Yeah, th this this track beats ass, guys. I mean, I know it only like takes like 20 seconds, but it's still pretty epic, just the same. But yeah, we're facing a level 70 Rayquaza, which is a dragon and flying type. And yeah, that's basically what we're going for here. And don't be disappointed, guys, if I can't catch Rayquaza here, because... Yeah, look at that. I don't exactly know how well this battle is going to turn out here, but yeah, I'm just tr gonna see if I can be the mat. Well, should I be the mat? Maybe I should just save this for last or something, I don't know. But that's how to catch Rayquaza, guys, is over here. And also, the Genesect. You can actually catch the Genesect over here, too, but... The problem with that is, I think I've already... I'm already done with the, um, I accidentally killed off that, um, that very rare Genesect that was supposed to be considered the legendary Pokemon, so I'm afraid I won't be catching that anytime soon, but you can actually see where I had, had been in the, in a previous episode, but anyway, on to the next Pokemon, onwards! I remember showing this off when I was doing the Shard mission. Then this is in Windy Cave, and you have to go underground and surf over here. And remember this, this opening off to the right. Well, here is where you can find um, Thunderous. I do believe, I do believe this is Thunderous. Let's see. And back to the Wild Pokemon battle music, which is very unexciting. <laughs> oh no, no, Tornadus. Okay, there we go. But yeah, that's where you can find Tornadus. And I'm just gonna do this for shits and giggles. See if I can kill it off. Quite unintentionally, yep. So yeah, anyway guys, onward to the next Pokemon then. Here is the one in Shale Cave. Now this one is gonna be a little bit tougher because you need to have Surf and Waterfall. But what you have to do here is just... It's fairly straightforward, but you need to actually have the HMs with you. So yeah, you need, you need a Pokemon that knows both Surf and Waterfall. You surf across this whole stream over here, and then you climb up the ladder, and you go to another stream. Which will actually bring you to... Ha ha ha! Who a guessed a waterfall, a cataract. And then we surf up the cataract, and again, break all laws of physics, and... We see this very, very suspicious opening here. And where exactly will this bring us? It brings us to another room, which takes us to another opening, and brings us out to broad daylight. And here is where we can find... I think this is Thunderous. Let's see. And that was a bit of a lag there. A bit of a lag issue. I'll have to work that out. Yep, here is Thunderous. All in the flesh. So yeah, that was in Shadow Tunnel, guys. And chances are I'm probably gonna die to this. I don't know, or... Either, actually, no, I'm not gonna die. What am I saying? After all, my Let's Ray, my trusty old Let's Ray, is an electric type. So, yeah, there's that. And that's how to find Thunderous, guys. Hooray! Onwards in this Pokemon! And we're done with that, guys. Um, there's also another one who is supposed to be in Fairy Forest. However, the problem with that is, I mean, it, you reach Fairy Forest that I do believe from Brown Lake. But the whole thing is completely sealed off. There's no way to access that from the Brown Lake. I tried I tried looking for that, guys. I wished a few mess thingies on trying to find the opening to that. So, unfortunately, since I can't find any warp to the Fairy Forest, then there's really no way to catch said legendary Pokemon over there. So, unfortunately, we have to finish this all off over here in High Edge Falls, which does actually harbor a legendary Pokemon, and if I can actually show it off here. Okay, let's actually save state, flickering time again, and let's actually use rock... Oh, yeah, yeah, here's another thing. There's also another Pokemon you can find in outside of Sandy Village, but the problem with that is I used Rock Climb. Lucario has Rock Climb, but the problem is, is, um... Problem with that is, once I go to this part, it doesn't allow me to do anything. It's like it just kind of glitches itself out, off. And Lucario has rock climb with him, so I don't understand why I can't exactly access this part of the level. So unfortunately, we're we're basically stuck with 
this. Yeah, I... I have a sneaky suspicion that the legendary Pokemon is behind that door. I just... I have that kind of intuition, guys. You can't fool me. You can't fool me, designer. So yeah, anyway, we actually scaled the waterfall to who knows where. Because I haven't... I haven't been through this part of... The... Of this cave yet. Hello, level 45 Magikarp! Why aren't you a Gyarados yet? You should have grown by then. What are you, some sort of a baby? Wah, 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 oh. wah, wah, wah. I can't, I can't go anywhere, guys, without, you know, oh, whoa, 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 wait, what? What's this? Oh. Oh. That's right, guys, Mew is in this place, and I am going to try to catch this doohickey in any way I can here. So, yeah, I am going to spend some time to try to catch this this jackass. Mew! Yep, and we have the Pokemon Fire Red Leaf Green music, well, the legendary music, of course. And, unfortunately, I won't be able to catch it then, sorry. It, it turns out that Mew is 69 levels lower than my Lutz Ray. Um, actually, you know, actually, let me try out something here. Um, oh, wait a minute, what am I doing? I can just... Let's, for the hell of it, let's actually catch this with our Master Ball. Yes, yes, yes. Please, you better not escape this Master Ball. It's, ine it's inevitable, Mew. You can't escape that. Ah, uh, yes, I have caught Mew. Mew! Mew! Oh, ah! Dang it, I wanted to read the Pokédex um, entry because I have never read the Pokédex entry of Mew in my entire life. Sorry, guys, but in order to access Mew in Gen... In Gen 1, you had to do that via a certain event with Japan, and there's just no way. So, yeah, um, and in, um, Gen 3, I don't exactly know, because I haven't really been that far. I mean, I'm just, I'm not exactly a Pokédex, um, I'm not exactly, um, uh, let's see, meticulous when it comes to, um, Completing my Pokédex. So anyway, um, let's search it out uh, if I can. Okay, search. Um, and okay, thank you. Specify um, MNO uh, color. Uh, oh, I say pink because it definitely looks pink in its overworld sprite form. So anyway, uh, uh, psychic. Let's actually go for psychic here because Mew is definitely a psychic type. Search completed! Yay! Yay! Thank you very much! Lo, the power of the Pokédex! Lo and behold, Mew, new species Pokémon. A Mew is said to possess the genes of all Pokémon. It is capable of making itself invisible at will, so it entirely avoids notice even if it approaches people. Hooray! And yet, yeah, area definitely unknown! Yeah, that's very good, guys. That was very impressive. I didn't really expect to see Mew all too soon here. Yeah, but that yeah, that's how to catch me, guys, is behind that waterfall. I didn't really realize that until now, so I guess my intuition proved me wrong. So anyway, let's actually escape the dangers that lurk from from below. <laughs> so anyway, huh. I know I say at any rate and anyway, anyway, but <laughs> wow. Yes, guys, I'm a man of all words. Yeah. And Apparently, I can't exactly go anywhere over here, so I'm going to have to scale all the way back to right over here. Just give me a few minutes, guys, and then I will discuss my reactions to this game. So anyway, let's actually speed all the way up here, and, um, actually, no, let's actually do this on the bridge. Okay, <clears throat> I have already said this before, but... Yeah, there are some... I mean, I... I Again, I like this game, and then I don't like this game. It has its good qualities, and it has its bad qualities. So, yeah, where to begin? Uh, let's start off with the good qualities, first of all. Um, I do like some of the original music that you programmed into the, into the myths. Like, I don't recall... I don't recall hearing so the Solar City music anywhere else, so that's actually kind of good. Um... The actually the um 
the uh, Psy VTM music, uh, if I um, if I didn't state that before, um, that's actually it is actually preloaded music from Emerald. It's actually from um, a certain part of the Battle Frontier as well. So yeah, I am. Um, I haven't really explored the Battle Frontier that much, guys, to actually tell like which track that's actually from. So excuse me for that, but I mean, forgive me for that. But yeah, um, there's that, and there's also. Um, I do, I do like the storyline too. I mean, it does present a good storyline. It has some pretty good characters, and it does, it does involve some char characterization there and there. So that's good. Um, I do like the gym leaders. I mean, I like the, um, I like the graphical um, qualities that this game brings. With, I mean. You know, I I, I like the um, I liked how um, the designers did a good job with um, making the gym leaders more aesthetic and you know um, just making them just look neat and stuff. And I I do like the um, I do like the close up um, sprite windows. I know I keep saying um too, but sometimes guys, I mean conversation filler. But yeah, whatever. Those are some of the good qualities, and I mean, I do like the fact that you can actually travel to Johto again, and it's, it's unfortunate that I can't exactly access Johto from over here. I mean, I could probably complete the missions for for Johto, but I mean, I'm going to be doing Pokemon Soul Silver sometime in the future anyway, so it's actually kind of pointless to have to go somewhere they have been before, and then you have to do it again. I mean, that's just... That's just kind of me. I just I don't like to have I don't like to revisit certain parts of of the Pokemon universe. Well, I mean I don't like I don't like revisiting certain parts of any game, to be honest. Because I mean I I've already talked about that certain thing in the previous game, so you know it it's like I'm recreating some sort of rant, you know. But whatever. Um, uh, those are some of the good qualities of this game. But however, the bad. The bad guys, the bad factors concerning this game, which I'm actually, I am mightily concerned about. Um, yeah, I mean, I stated this before during the credits, but again, again, wind. Um, your gym leaders are annoyingly hard. Your gym leaders and your trainers, you, you set the levels too high for everyone. Um. Which I mean, again, it's kind of a it's kind of a running motif with some hackers because some hackers are dicks that way. But I mean, I I mean, Roy, when I'm making a hack, you Roy should just start off, you know, easy, and then I mean, even with the eighth gym leader, I mean, you could just at least make his Pokemon close to level 60 or level 50. Because I mean, every Pokemon game that I started out, it starts off, you know, I mean, it. It ends off to, you know, around the late 40s, early 50s. Every single game that I've played so far, it ends at around level 50. And all the all the Elite Four members start off in the level 50s range. Well, um, except for Johto, of course. Now, Johto is, Johto is an exception because um, Claire's Pokemon... Well, Claire's Dragonair was level 41, so... Um, Johto is definitely... Definitely out of the equation there. So, but yeah, guy. But yeah, win. Just make some changes with your gym. I, I seriously doubt that you take care of this. I don't exactly know if you're actually watching this video, or if you're going to watch this video. But please, just settle some, some you know, differences with your gym leaders, and you know, make them less harder for your players, so it doesn't become too frustrating. Because I mean, I know again, everyone deserves a decent challenge, but. You don't have to push the you don't have to you don't have to push the envelope too hard, okay. And second of all, um, graphical issues like for example at the Sky Castle, um, fits some of the palette, the bad palette things that um that, that were just accidentally left in and you know stuff like that. Um, third thing, bugs. Hopefully, it cleared those bugs all out in the um in the updated version. I'm looking forward to that. Fourth, um, again, it's ambiguity. I, um, I seriously think you Roy really should, when you're making a hack, just make sure that everyone knows where to go, so then they don't have to, you know, spend 
countless time wandering in certain areas and you know just end up like stuck and they just feel like quitting the game I mean a lot of people are exploratory that way including myself but it's you, you need you need to include some sort of moss on a tree or else it just it fails so there's that and finally last but not least the English I'm glad I saved this for last fits your damn English test boxes you have to keep repeating those five words or you know well except except the dem you know just fits the English test boxes in the game hire some better people who can actually spell check and grammar check everything just so it is aesthetically perfect because if you're making this for an American audience if you're making this for a British audience you know if you're making this for a more anglophone audience like Denmark or ne or the Netherlands please just fits your English and that's basically all I have to say regarding this game so far again guys if you guys know how to um, get through that one glitch with Dr. Kathy and Jacqueline let me know but I think I think this was actually intended to be the the last part of of this beta. So I, I think this is actually a beta and I'm, I'm not exactly sure but I mean I, I do know that he stayed with this one that there was actually um it was nearly complete but it wasn't exactly totally complete so there we go now um, with all that being said and done I will commence on with my nest hack which will be next week so until then guys ciao for now